This is a very good question. P, Q, and R are the three partners sharing profits and losses in the ratio of three to three to two. And prepare necessary ledger accounts to close the books of the firm. Working notes: We have to prepare divisible profit after interest and capital five percent is twenty eight thousand. It is written that the net profit before charging interest and capital is twenty eight thousand. Hence, after charging interest and capital, the total capital of the partners is rupees eighty thousand at the rate of five percent interest. It will be twenty-eight thousand minus four thousand is equal to twenty-four thousand. This after charging interest and capital will be distributed among partners. And the next one is memorandum balance sheet of a P, Q, and R before distribution dissolution. It is liability is amount with rupee symbol, assets amount with rupee symbol. Then we'll have to just show. The capital accounts. The capital accounts of partners are rupees eighty thousand. In their profit sharing ratio, but three to three to two. That is, P's capital thirty thousand, Q's capital thirty thousand, R's capital twenty thousand. Eighty thousand in the ratio of three to three to two. General reserve is twenty thousand directly given. Profit and loss account before interest and capital at the rate of five percent twenty eight thousand. And liability is rupees eighteen thousand. And drawings in the asset side, P's drawings will be eight thousand, Q drawings seven thousand, R's drawings six thousand, five thousand. Total the liability side, this is rupees one lakh forty six thousand. Take it to the asset side and find out the gap. Sundry assets balancing figure one lakh twenty six thousand. Then your dissolution prepared in the fair notes realisation account. Draw the proper form of bond. Two sundry assets rupees one lakh twenty six thousand, and by liabilities rupees eighteen thousand. By cash account assets realised. This is written in the question that the assets realised rupees one lakh eight thousand six hundred. Two cash account liabilities paid. Realisation expenses rupees one thousand eight hundred, and liabilities rupees eighteen thousand. This is total nineteen thousand eight hundred. Then totaling in this debit side is rupees one lakh forty five thousand eight hundred. Take it to the credit side and find out the balance by capital accounts loss and realisation transferred in ratio of P is to Q is to R is equal to three is to three is to two. P equal to rupees nineteen thousand two hundred multiplied by three by eight. That is rupees seven two zero zero. Q is equal to rupees nineteen thousand two hundred multiplied by three by eight. That is equal to rupees seven two zero zero. R equal to rupees nineteen thousand two hundred into two by eight. That is rupees four thousand eight hundred. Then capital account, partners capital accounts P Q R by once brought down thirty thirty twenty thousand rupees for P Q and R. Then by general ledger. In three is to three is to two ratio that twenty thousand that is seven thousand five hundred for P for Q rupees seven thousand five hundred for R rupees five thousand. Then by interest on capital five percent of a P Q R's capital that is thirty thousand at the rate of five percent fifteen hundred per Q it is same for R it is twenty thousand at the rate of five percent one thousand. Then by profit and loss account. This is before interest and capital twenty eight thousand. After it is twenty four thousand. Twenty four thousand distributed in the ratio of three is to three is to two. That is nine thousand rupees, nine thousand rupees, and six thousand rupees. Now, to drawings, it is given on adjusted. It is given in the capital accounts, balance sheets, asset side. That is rupees eight thousand, rupees seven thousand, rupees five thousand. Then in the credit side. To realise an account loss, realise an loss, P rupees seven thousand two hundred, Q rupees seven thousand two hundred, R rupees four thousand eight hundred, and in the credit side we will have rupees forty eight thousand for P, for Q rupees forty eight thousand, for R rupees thirty two thousand. We will take it to the debit side and we will find the gap. That is two cash account, P rupees thirty two thousand eight hundred. 
Q rupees thirty three thousand eight hundred, R rupees twenty two thousand two hundred. I will have to prepare cash account. It is two balance brought down. Not there. It is not there. It is cash account debited to realization account. Assets realized one lakh eight thousand six hundred. Regarding payment of liabilities and on realization, this is by realization account liabilities paid on realization nineteen thousand eight hundred. By piece capital account rupees thirty two thousand eight hundred. By piece capital account rupees thirty three thousand eight hundred. By R's capital account rupees twenty two thousand two hundred. That is total is rupees one lakh eight thousand six hundred. Both debit and credit side totaling, and this is the final answer.